Hey guys, in this video we're going to create uh, these uh, free iOS uh, UIs uh, in Figma. We're also going to leverage uh, an amazing illustration pack uh, which is uh, going to be in the link in the description and uh, I'm going to share some uh, workflows and some techniques uh, which I also show in my Figma course. Now without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So let's get started and the very first thing which I did is I actually downloaded a free iOS UI kit for Figma. So simply Google iOS kit Figma. You're going to find it right away for free. And I extracted these two elements. And now we're going to create the frame using a 11, a iPhone 11 Pro Max. And basically we're just going to drag and drop these two elements inside of the frame. So let's bring it down and let's increase Actually, let's uh, group these uh, and let's increase uh, this size just a little bit. These are going to be used for reference, so they don't need to be perfect. And uh, here we go. So we have our base uh, ready now. Let's start uh, adding some text. So we're going to write here first uh, steps and uh, let's. Uh, Bring it over here and uh, we're going to use uh, San Francisco Pro text in uh, this case as, uh, it just works uh, really well with uh, iOS and uh, let's make this uh, second text which is going to be below smaller but not too small and uh, here we go all right so far so good let's center this and we're going to write uh, some text Oops. All right, perfect. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's add a little bit of a line height in order to make the text breathe a little bit more. And we're also going to make this text lighter and there we go so far so good let's try and make this one maybe a 31 point that'll work or even smaller than that and i'm probably going to go with the bold version all right so far so good now we're going to add uh, some navigation on the top and uh, let's do it like this so I'm just going to create uh, three rectangles and I'm going to make them uh, rounded. So just like that. And let's use uh, this blue color right here. All right, so far so good. I'm going to sample the same blue color and make a uh, this one lighter and there we go let's center it we make the height uh, four and we're in a good place now we're going to add uh, an icon which is going to help us to close this onboarding screen so let's go ahead over here and uh, <clears throat> we're going to select this uh, google material icon Let's ungroup this and let's make it smaller. Let's center this uh, right uh, here. And we're going to make this one black. Or actually, let's let's sample the same blue color and uh, kind of uh, figure out uh, a tint which is going to work well overall. All right, so far so good. So want to make this one just a little bit smaller. There we go. And we're also going to add a button. So let's go ahead. We're going to try and sample a form from here. We're going to freestyle with this one so we're not 
going to do all sorts of uh, different measurements and refinements and, and stuff like that. And that's going to be totally fine for the time being. All right, so far so good. Now let's uh, duplicate this text. Let's make it uh, go on the top. Let's write uh, a text which is going to work well over here. All right. So far, so good. Now, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to leverage some amazing illustrations from Odama, which you can find on UI8, their entire kit. And I'm going to leave the link in the description. As you can see, they have like all sorts of different illustrations, which are really, really cool. And uh, I personally have the unlimited pass on UI8, but uh, you can also download it individually. So we're just going to grab this very first one. And yeah, these illustrations look uh, really, really nice. So great job on that. And uh, we're going to locate it uh, right here. I think that's, that's going to work pretty well. Let's try and make uh, this go a little bit more towards the button and uh, there we go i'm also going to add a little bit of extra space since usually there is the uh, the bar on uh, on the button in ios so we have to be mindful of uh, those elements as well all right so i'm trying to think if there is uh, anything else that uh, could potentially be good for this first screen, but I, I think so far it's looking pretty good. So we're just going to rename this uh, artboard and we're going to also add a layout grid and specifically some columns. And let's add two columns and add some margin in order to make sure that uh, overall the layout is, is working well and that uh, we can uh, essentially be consistent also in the following screens. So I'm going to make it very light, something around these lines, and that's going to be enough. So, all right, let's move this one into the, the artboard. And let's create the second screen right here. Now let's make this one blue since we are in the second step. Let's grab uh, this uh, second uh, illustration, which again looks really, really nice. Now, one thing I'd like to do is to put uh, the illustration one, one on top of the other and uh, try to figure out the sizes more or less, uh, um, considering them. So yeah, that's going to work pretty fine. I'm, I'm actually wondering if the second illustration might work better in this context since uh, you might want to change up a little bit the um, the theme. And uh, I mean, the theme is similar, but I think that having uh, the individuals in two screens, one after the other, might not be the ideal way to go. So in this case, and we're totally making this up, so there aren't really like specific rules or anything, but yeah, just, just to, change up uh, things like the bit that can be cool. So, all right, um, let's talk about uh, <coughs> sounds good. Okay. And uh, here we're going to add some lower Ipsum text. And let's delete the uh, this part right here. All right, so far so good. So let's duplicate it one more time and uh, we're going to mix things up a little bit and change uh, the the screen right here. And we're going to add some uh, further elements. Uh, say just one more step. And we're going to 
deselect this group. I'm going to write here, create account. And then uh, let's left align this. And we're going to add uh, some sort of uh, some sort of an icon or actually an icon. Going to write over here, check. And let's find a check icon, which is going to be rounded. So this one looks pretty cool. All right, yeah, this one could totally work. Let's bring it here. Maybe this is going to be the default. And let's add a line right over here to create a division between this and the following elements. So let's go ahead here and we're going to actually duplicate this. So let's bring it here and the command D again. And I think we just need to make it one or two pixels up. All right, so far so good. All right, for this last step, we're going to add some extra text going to be smaller. And uh, let's make it black and uh, bold, or actually maybe not bold, semi bold, that will do. All right. So far, so good. And uh, Let's go ahead over here and let's change this uh, to a novel. And we're going to change up this uh, to a number three. And I think uh, we'll be good to go. Let's change this one as well. And let's bring uh, this cool illustration up here. All right, so far, so good. Now we're going to select all of them. And oops, I selected the right and the wrong one. And uh, here we go, all right. So far, so good. And uh, you know, at this point, you can also create uh, different versions of it. Uh, so, for example, you can create uh, a uh, darker version. So, let's give that one a shot uh, real quick. As you can see, it doesn't uh, really take much time. Oh, we should also need to uh, change these ones. As you can see, you can create uh, different versions. This one is using the same uh, blue. You can also make it uh, uh, darker or in other colors. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And uh, if you liked it, please leave uh, either a like or a comment if you need uh, any help or have questions. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.